okay so trigger warning and I'm gonna pop some stuff up here too because I want to make sure that if you can't hear you can't see you're still warned properly that this is going to be containing allegations over abuse and very triggering subjects <laughs> let's just say that there's going to be psychological abuse physical abuse uh, rape drugging video recording of it all that stuff so if that triggers you do not watch because i am not going to be censoring any of this because the words hold gravity when said out loud i'm not trying to monetize this i i don't blame anyone who is covering this and wants to not be demonetized for it but i personally don't care i just want I'm sorry, I'm triggered. I'm obviously very triggered. Um, I just want the information to be out there because all of the evidence is very damning. And um, as someone who has experienced a lot of this in my own past, and I'm seeing it from creators that I enjoyed, um, I'm going to be talking about it because some of it's being covered, but there's a lot of people trying to brush a lot of stuff on the under the rug, filter comments, hide stuff, get rid of comments in uh, r slash. I am so deeply upset that um, someone had to go through the things that these women are alleging. People are still giving them the benefit of the doubt maybe, even though there's so much evidence. And yes, these are allegations, but we're going to go over them because because I think it's really important that the victims of this are heard that we look at all of it and it doesn't get swept under the rug just because they have a cult-like following or have a lot of viewers or constantly virtue signal and so therefore oh no they're nice guys so this is a spur of the moment thing but my blood is so boiling and i'm so upset by this and i have a platform to speak on i don't have a lot of subscribers or viewers but you don't have to have the biggest voice you just have to be part of the voice for more conversations to be happening. If everyone stays silent and wants someone else to say something, maybe something doesn't get said enough. So that is the plan here. It's going to be quick because I, I am very upset by it. So um, they, they want to keep their money and their monetization and they want to keep their living um, without having to face any consequences. And voices, viewers, we at least need to question them. And that is what this will be about. Okay, so I have composed myself and um, I do a weight loss vlog. This is not my forte. And I never imagined that I would be sharing anything as far as my own personal struggles when it comes to being raped and being abused, but um, it's a very hard thing to open up about to people and most of us don't want to talk about it. So for the women who came forward with this information, um, it took a lot for them and I don't want them to be silenced. I don't know if I conveyed that well enough. Let's just go over what, what the allegations are and the stuff supporting it. So first, let's go over Cody Ko and Tana Manjo's allegation that she was 17 and he was 25 when they slept together. That would be considered statutory rape in most places. Tana Manjo and Brooke Schofield have been calling out all the influencers lately on their canceled podcast and tour, and we need to talk about it. Tana was also asked about the smallest D that she's ever been with, and she sent the audience screaming when she said Cody Ko. Who's the smallest you've ever had sex with? Oh my god, no one look at me, Cody Ko. <laughs> And Cody is eight years older than Tana, so that would place him at around 25 years old when Tana was only 17. Teach me some slang. Teach me some teen okay, slang. Okay, I was gonna like write it. Alright, so I'm way too old to be on YouTube. She knows a whole bunch of slang and cool <laughs> words because she's. Right there, he acknowledges that he is way too old and she's a teen. A little weird there. All right, now let's go over the company he chooses to keep aka the best man at his wedding, someone he continues to keep contact with and has not publicly spoken out against since this has become public knowledge. We're talking about Colby Leachman, your guys' 
chance to turn back now because it gets dark. This was published 10 days ago and for the people who are talking about it, um, I am seeing this post specifically referenced enough. I think it's well spoken and it really sets in the gravity of the situation and uh, hits home how damning the evidence that is available really is. I am seeing some truly nasty discord about Cole B. Leachman, Cody Ko's bestie and best man because he was not convicted of rape. You need to know how rape cases typically work and the details of the cases before opening your mouth. It is virtually impossible to get a conviction in a rape case. For the love of God, stop using he wasn't convicted argument. You have no idea how disrespectful that line is to sexual assault victims because almost none of us will see a conviction or even a court case against our rapist in our lifetimes. It's bad enough that the lawsuit was filed in the first place. And let me tell you something, the corrupt legal system is not just in the movies. Wealthy people also get lighter sentences and punishments for the exact same crimes as others. We all know that this is true. It is incredibly common for judges and other officials involved to be paid off by the wealthy. Further, Ivy Leagues and other prestigious private universities are notorious for how they handle rape and essay on their campuses. I used to attend John Hopkins. I and a friend on two separate occasions were assaulted as were two girls at a frat party. Um, reminder here that Cody's best man and friend was his frat brother. We were each treated like trash by the administration and that is part of why I withdrew from that shit ass school. Duke has a long legacy of covering up rape for students of rich families. The victim of Colby was drugged and raped and there was even video of the assault that they took. She did not even have a full memory of it happening this has been her consistent story. So tell me how someone who cannot fucking remember was able to consent to the sex with two men being that far gone, much less to herself being videoed. Even the admin in this situation said the video was non-consensual. A disciplinary panel unanimously found that there was not a preponderance of evidence that the men had violated Duke's sexual misconduct policies. Leachman entered a plea of responsibility that he violated Duke's policy with regard to unauthorized surveillance and photography. Video recording someone having sex without their consent is generally considered a criminal act if the recording takes place in a place where the person has reasonable expectation of privacy. This is video voyeurism law and it makes it a federal crime to knowingly and intentionally take an image of a private area of someone without their consent and under circumstances in which they have a reasonable expectation of privacy. I mean, he just straight out admitted Leachman entered a plea of responsibility that he violated that policy with regard to unauthorized surveillance and photography. That right there would be enough for me not to maintain friends with someone and to publicly admonish them. By their own words, they were guilty of that, but it gets worse. So you're telling me that this guy and his friend definitely got consent to have sex with this very drugged girl, but just did an uncharacteristic oopsie when they videoed themselves doing it without consent. Let that sink in how disgusting of a person that is. What would make you want to be friends with someone like that? Just tell me what on earth would make you want to be friends with someone who did that to someone else and have them in your wedding photos. Now, someone's gonna say, maybe he didn't know. This is all news to him. He could at least have the balls to come out and say that at this point. He has not said a damn word about it. In my opinion, where there's smoke, there's fire. Just speaking from my own experiences, these dumbass boys who run around with their dicks out, they tell a lot of people what they do. He knew, in my opinion. Let's continue. Not to mention the chief reason everything was justified is because after the rape, the woman involved didn't want to get into a years long legal battle reliving her trauma. Uh, let's also pause here to mention his father was an even higher ranking admin for Duke University. His mother is still a professor at Duke and the lawyer that defended Duke University lacrosse players against gang rape allegations 10 years ago is now suing the school on behalf of an alleged gang rape victim. The suit says that all Duke employees involved in reviewing the university's probation sanction against Leachman were subordinates of his stepfather. It is, he had all the advantage in the world to not have this girl talk. It's, it's, it's a completely fucked situation, isn't it? So now instead of imagining you're Cody Ko and you want to stay friends with an alleged rapist, uh, imagine you're the girl that this happened to. Not one man, but two violated you. 
And now you're supposed to tell someone who has immense power and familial ties to this university. What chance do you have? How mentally strong are you? This, this is a fucked up situation. Just hit further home of the powerlessness that she must have felt. Someone who can't empathize with someone like that and will choose bros before hoes. Garbage. Go in the trash. Just go in the trash. What an absolute piece of work you must be. So let's see how many people are talking about Cody Leachman and Cody Co. This was breaking news about 10 days ago. Cody Co. allegations, Adam McIntyre. Eight days ago. Let's see. 10 days ago, H3 podcast. Uh, two years ago, this is the uh, Cody Co. with Anna. Yeah, not really seeing that much about it. Let's just go Cody Co. allegations then, huh? There's about 15 videos being done. Um, H3 podcast is one of them. Some of these are dating years ago. Not that many, though, and that is why this is important. Um, <sighs> this is his second channel, Cody and Co., and he's been posting on this every couple days. Let's take a look at the comments. Cody's fits are getting more and more fatherly. Just sat down with the meth pipe. I don't know what that means. I didn't watch the video. Uh, but is there anything? Love how Cody is now fully basing compatibility off whether they look like siblings or not. There's, there's literally nothing being said about this in here because they're filtering the comments. Anything that would be said, they're making sure doesn't get discussed. This is his latest post on Instagram about 14 days ago. It's not being scrubbed here. So here we've got, it's not going away this time. You have supporters begging you to say something and your silence proves how little you actually care about actually being a good guy. You just want to seem like one. And then of course we get the reply, why would he and who cares? I was waiting and giving you time to respond, but you let me down. One of the most disappointing unsubscribes. And here we have, LOL, he'll live. Honestly, from most of this, they just want him to speak up. They're not even fully holding him accountable for being friends with someone like that and then also having an allegation against himself. <sighs> I really urge you guys to take time and consider that time is being spent covering this up. Doesn't want anyone talking about it, doesn't want mention of it, and people who are mentioning it are upset and then you've got some people who don't worry, I'll love you no matter what. You can do anything. What kind of world can we not be like, what about her? <laughs> what, in what reality does someone not go, nah, that's fucked, man. So this next part is going to be about I'm Alex and the allegations against him. Now, there are so many videos being done about this and it's because there is video footage, text messages. We can see all of this with our own eyes. So a lot more people are going to report on it and they're frankly much better at it than I am. So I'm not going to go over all the allegations in full detail. Frankly, you can just type in I'm Alex into the YouTube search bar and you will find better videos on this. But to quickly go over it, but to quickly go over it, I'm Alex is someone who posts and kind of virtue signals. Um, I this didn't, is I didn't all mean just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this royally, oh, fucked this. I There's a lot of video footage like that. There's um, him telling her to lay down like a dog, uh, just being a complete psychopath on text messages. Uh, there is allegations that he kicked her in the back, which I do believe the YouTube community is going to continue to make videos on him and speak out and there's going to be a lot more information available soon. So these are creators. I don't know if they're all associated with him, but I know I recognize a couple of them. I used to watch iNabber and he, from what I can tell, everyone is saying, hey, I didn't know about this. Didn't even know that they had broken up. I'm aware of the Alex situation. I would usually wait until both parties have said their side publicly. 
I spent this morning reading what Alice has written and going over the evidence she's provided and no one should have to go through what she has. It's awful and it's seriously shocking me. This is one of the worst situations I have ever seen in my life and I hope Alice is okay. Here's iNabber and he also posted on YouTube that he made a statement on his Insta. So this is the statement he made, but I checked a couple hours later and him mentioning that he made a statement on Instagram is gone. But his statement was, should say, yeah, I know about the situation and hope you all send nothing but support to Alice. Genuinely, some of the most horrific fiction I've ever read. Cannot explain how brave it is to come out and speak about stuff like this, especially considering how long it seemed to have been going on. But yeah, I should just say, of course, I didn't know about this until recently. This is something I have been aware of since May last year and is something that, in my opinion, is well known throughout the industry. I can't speak for people who aren't in our group or who I don't see regularly, but the openness at which this was discussed amongst people last year, I genuinely find it hard to believe that creators close to Alex and iNabber was doing a podcast with him recently. recently. So um, I'm going to say he was kind of close to Alex. Had no idea this was going on. When I found out Alex and I were signed to the same talent agency, I immediately made them aware of the accusations and put pressure on them to drop him, which they did. This was in June 2023. From the documents in the drive, it looks like things escalated even further from what I was aware of, which is so heartbreaking. I don't know Alice personally, but sending her so much love and support. So people close to him apparently did know, and I'm going to straight out say the top two names on this list right here, I've seen videos recently with them. Can I say for certain they knew? No, but it is fishy that someone said I made a statement, then Mia's post comes out and there's some deletion going on again. This is iNabber's last video two weeks ago and I know for a fact, I know for a fact because I saw it with my own two eyes, he had a post somewhere in this saying, for all of you guys wondering, I've made a comment about this on my Instagram. Where is this comment now? Why is this being deleted? Is it because this new information has come out? Where's this post now? Am I am I insane here? Where where to go? I know he put it in YouTube that he made a post on Instagram. He said it. That comment's gone. I don't know where this is. I may not be that good at Instagram. I don't know. <sighs> All right, regardless, there's a lot of information out here. There's a lot of places you guys can research. There's r slash YouTube drama. There's just the search tab in your YouTube search browser thingy. And like I've said before, there are honestly way better creators covering these situations. And I encourage you guys if you want to find out more, and I, I hope you guys do, um, to watch those videos. I'm only speaking about it because stuff is being covered up. Things are being erased but I just wanted to add a voice to it while they're trying to make it go away so it will be a little harder to do, hopefully. Uh, with that, thank you guys for watching. Don't subscribe from this video because this is not my usual content. And if you are subscribed, I'm sorry from steering away from what I normally do. It's just, this is important. I fucking so pissed off. Ugh. These women have to continue on with their lives being victims of trauma. And these guys are just like, nope, never happened. Fuck them. Mm -mm. Fuck them. All right, I'll see you guys later.